Okay, welcome back everybody. If you see my last Kerbal episode, you'll see that I successfully got a satellite into orbit, and that is just wonderful. Just absolutely wonderful. Unfortunately, I, uh, you know, I'm not gonna zoom all the way in, but I forgot to put any kind of, uh, fucking scanner or temperature on there, anything like that, but it does have some interesting values. I'm hoping to launch about at least eight more to get a full set of worldwide GPS. So, uh, it's in hibernation mode. It's got a lot of battery in there. Let's go ahead and leave the tracking station. So, what I have in sight for today, well, I bought aviation a couple of days ago. And I just want to, uh, I want to kind of see real quick. If I can build a nice little plane, stable, that will be able to cover some distance. And then I'm going to take a look at the mission control and see what kind of plane missions I need. And I got two rooms for active, so let's go ahead and read. Take a crew report and flight above that meters. And you'll flight fall. Okay, yeah, so these are the kind that need the planes. Yeah, these ones are like. Let me not skip any. Because they're the, uh, like, tourist missions. Test the TR-18A stacked coupler. Incomplete curve and launch site incomplete. Okay, I'll do that one. Stack the coupler and flight over curve and... Test the TRC2C stacked coupler and complete turbine and complete flying and complete altitude 3,000 meters to 7,000 meters speed. Oh, nice. 500 to only 1,000. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and accept this one too, just because testing through the couplers doesn't seem too hard. So let's just do that just to get a little bit of money for the plane. So in my last episode, there was no audio because I didn't have my mic plugged in. I wasn't even planning on making the video, but I just, you know, I managed to get, like, spectacular first-time event. Okay, so is this the, okay, so this is the T2 stacked coupler. So hang on, that's not going to work. I'll come back to that to coupler. So the speed it required was... Um, 500 to 1,000, the meters was 3,000, that's kind of small, okay, but no problem, I'm gonna, uh, put the new little tiny one on right there, and, uh, let's get rid of that, and let's go ahead and just put the tiny heat shield on top, oh, hang on, helps if it's facing the right way, pull it over. Uh, parachutes, even though they're really kind of minute. Let's just do two and two. Because I don't even think I'm going to need the, uh, small ones. But hey. Uh, let's flip these around. The biggest one's on top. Actually, yeah, hang on. Put them on there just to kind of give them the safety from the thing. Who cares if it's like not fucking center of their parachutes. Hmm. Shouldn't cuss. Okay. Now, that little the little decoupler is the one I'm testing. Now, I'm sure the other ones I'm testing are the sideways ones. These little stack ones. So I'm just gonna put two on here to make it sym symmetrical. Right there, and we're just gonna hang on. put some small boosters on it because I don't really want nothing too fancy. This little rocket is gonna do just fine. Jeez. Okay, okay, okay. Grab those. Put it a little lower, more stable. And now I don't even think I need like the best engine. Give me the relevant one. Um. <coughs> it has a decoupler. 
has everything I need to test. Uh, staging. Let's go ahead and take the test to carry this out the way. These two are blast. Yep, that's what I want. Uh, let's go ahead and blast these together. Just a couple. These two. Uh, just a couple of the top one. Uh, make another one to couple that. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. So that's the top. And now this and this. And what the heck happened there? All out of order. What did I just do? Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna reset the staging. What the fuck? Okay, sides. Wait, sides to couple. Engine. Let's put the engine together. I want them both to blast at the same time. Before I decouple that one, I want the top one to decouple. And then I'll decouple that one. And then the parachutes will pull. Sounds good. But I think I have to decouple these at the launch pad, so... I might just do those in one stage. Alright, sounds good. Let's, uh, launch. <laughs> Hoping this is gonna look pretty funny. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh... Throttle up. SAS. And three. Two, one, test. All right, let's go ahead and revert flight. Looks like my engine isn't enough to get it going, which makes sense. It's a little heavy. Don't have the best engine. Let's just pick a little wee bit of staging and maybe we'll decouple that a second time. So why didn't my engine go off? Was it not attached? So confused. Uh this engine, those engines, let's just let's just Whoa 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 whoa. Oh my gosh. What have I done? What have I done here? What is happening? So I guess three is just isn't a thing anymore, and now boom, 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 boom. But now fucking fuck. Boom, 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 boom. Can we fucking give this a launch now? It's like it's not burning. There's something wrong with my, uh... I think something's wrong with my thruster. My fuel tank's on backwards? No. Let's go ahead and get another fucking engine. Let's get the swivel engine. Yeah, that one's much smaller. Let's just... So, these two, this one fire together. 
these two to couple, these two to couple, this to couples, this to couples, these two to couple. Launch. It wasn't supposed to be a whole thing here. I was supposed to do this first try, but my engines aren't working. Alright, that's a yes. Throttle up. I think I might have altered some kind of settings to make the engine not work. I don't get it. Square on engine. Gamble free. Shut, shut down engine. Activate engine. Outfit. Output. Why isn't it going? I don't understand. Oh, fuck it. Revert flight. Wait. I'm not even going to use an engine then. If they don't want to work for me, then... I really don't know what else to do. Revert flight, please. Alright, slide hook up in the plan. Which is... This one I'll be the main rocket. Okay. Now for Do I have any other fins that are better? Separate wings. Cell fin. Okay, I don't care. So for another decoupling method uh, method. Method. I'm just doing this for fun at this point, this one right here. Cause I know I have to do a couple on the launch pad, so I'm just gonna like put these right here, see what they do. So staging needs to be corrected. Big rocket, last with little rocket. Fun staging to couple first. Rocket, rocket. Fuck around staging. Uh, test staging, test staging. I mean, spiral staging, parachute staging. All right, launch. I'll do away with the rockets. They don't want to work. They don't have to. I'll work them tomorrow. So, gun that. A couple. Oh, well. Pretty good stage. Alright, test is back. So let's uh, skedaddle. I, I got a heat shield on top, so my thing should be taken care of. I'm just gonna make sure I test the other one in the atmosphere. Okay, I'm about to hit my window. A couple, a couple, a couple top. And now let's just ride this out. At least we're getting some distance. Maybe we'll go somewhere cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, force the uh, trajectory here. Alright, it's going to be a bit much to couple. Now we have no control over where we're going. So might as well get the nab ball out of here. Looks like we're slipping. This thing might burn us alive. Alright, nice. I'm sure I'm all good. No, don't do that. Um... What was the controls again?
actually. Well, we're here. It looks like our systems are good. We're going a hundred. Yep, we're going fast and with within the speed limit. Let's go ahead and. Uh, I wish I could check ground control. Let's see what we're doing here. Uh, well, I guess I can do a little bit of time warp in here. So you can see there's some of my less lucky pieces splashing down in the water. Oh god, I hope I didn't just ruin my uh... No, I didn't. And time warp some more. Close the parachutes because you never know when they want to come out. <laughs> Get that piece out of here. Should I say it's off? The shoots do the thing. crew report. I'm still time warping, huh? Whoa! <laughs> okay, you go, Goose Ben! <laughs> That's how that looks like in real time. <laughs> oh my gosh! That's pretty funny. Perspective. Oh man, I just realized I accidentally like set it to permanently spin. That's not good. I need to get it under control. And then turn SAS on to combat it. <laughs> oh, well, let's just time warp it. Look at the Kerbin's eyes, he's like <laughs> 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 And turn on SAS. We're about to touch down. Looks like they're going in right about now. Right about now. All right, let's go ahead and recover vessel. Alright, done. 
Let's see what Mission Control has to say about what we just did. Okay, so it looks like I didn't test it from a test to activate the part. They wanted to test the stack decoupler at the launch site. Test the stack decoupler at Kerbin flying 3,000 meters to 7,000 meters at those speeds. Right back. Well, it looks like we failed this time, but we're gonna go try it again and get him on the next one.